everyone, it's Bianca from the Stampin' Bee, and today I have a really fun card for you, and we're going to be doing some embossing today. I really, really love how this came out. This is a beautiful card, and this is using the new Dandelion Wishes stamp set. This is so cute. I love this font and the sayings and everything, and the dandelions are so adorable. It is so much fun, and who doesn't like dandelions? I know we don't like them in our yard, but we're so quick to pick them and blow them and it's so um, fun you know you make a wish make a wish on the dandelion so these are really really cute and I'm going to show you how we did this card we're going to do a different color we're going to actually do it in gorgeous grape and see how that one comes out so one thing about this card is and I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera here but right here it is embossed this section let me flip it over this section right here is embossed and it's done with the subtles embossing folder so it's 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 subtle basically it's it's really light you can barely tell but when you have it in hand in person you can definitely see it so hopefully you'll be able to see it in the camera if not um you'll be able to see it in the pictures for sure so let's get started and make this card so i have all my pieces so first we have our card base so i did the 11, is it 11 and a half or 11? 11 by four and a fourth. And I scored it at five and a half. And then we are going to cut it. And we're going to cut at two and a half. So let me get my trimmer. I'm gonna line it up in there and cut at two and a half. Okay, and you can save this piece for later. All right, I then have my actual base, which will sit right here, and then the gorgeous grape on top of that, and then my designer series paper. This is from the Brights coordinating paper. It's really, really nice, and that's gonna sit right inside, just like that. So all the measurements and everything will be on my blog at thestampinbeat.com. So let's get to embossing. So I have my stamps here, and we're going to be using Versamark. Let me get my powder ready as well. I have this really cool tray. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. It helps. It helps with my powder. So, I'm running out of room here. So, let's get our embossing buddy. And we're going to put this on. This takes care of all the static off of your paper, so that way your... Um, embossing powder won't stick everywhere else. You only want it to stick to your stamped image. So we'll take our Versamark, which is a watermark stamp, get it all inked up. We'll get that right here. And then we'll get our sentiment. Hopefully get this nice and straight. Sending well wishes your way. So, so cute. So then, I'm going to put the embossing powder over it. There we go. Let's get all the excess off. Perfect. And then you just put this back in there. Very, very easy. All right. All right, so let's get our heat tool. This is our heat tool. It has two settings. One is for a lower heat, like if you want to dry your ink on your um, cards or just a really low heat to try to, you know, make it dry faster. And then two is for the actual heat embossing. So. Let's get this going here. That way you can actually watch it change. I love doing heat embossing. It's so much fun. It really, really makes your card stand out.
Now this thing does get very, very hot, so you have to be very careful not to burn yourself along with not burning your paper too much. So it does go by fairly quickly. There we go. So now it is heat embossed. Very, very nice. So let's now put this card together. So I'm going to put my DSP on the inside first. And that's just going to line up right here. And there we go. And then I'll attach my emboss to my cardstock. There we go, very easy. So when I am going to set it on here, it is, um, I just want to put my tape on that side. Wait, I forgot to emboss this portion. My goodness, it's one of those days. So this is the Subtles impressions. It's like the really thick dynamic ones. It's, so you only need one cutting plate when running it through your Big Shot. You don't need to put it to, you don't need to sandwich it in between because this is so thick. So I am going to lay this in there. I'm going to go over just a tad. It won't make a difference. It won't affect the card or anything, but it's, I'm going to run this one through just like that. So let me run that through the Big Shot. All right, so I don't know if you can tell how, see that? Just how subtle it is. It adds pretty good detail to your card. So once you put it together, it totally adds to it. So like I said before, we're only going to put a snail on this side so that way it won't close all the way. All right, we'll center that right here. Put that there. There we go. Perfect. So you still have a nice area to write in your card. It's very, very cute. So we are going to get the mini striped ribbon, which is, um, it comes Let's see, this one was Bermuda Bay, and this one is Gorgeous Grape. So I am going to put it all the way around. I'm going to show you a little trick, too. Where's my glue dots? To get it to stay. I was very impressed when I had made this one. This knot looks so good. I was like, oh my gosh, I love that knot. But I put a little glue dot underneath it before I finished tidying off the knot. That way it would stay in place. So... Get a good long piece here. And I'm gonna tie it. And then I'm gonna set my glue dot. So let me get my glue dot ready. Tie it up. This is completely optional. You don't need to set the glue dot before you tie your knot. I just found that it helped. So I want it to go right there to where I'm going to set it and then I'm going to set this right on top of it. Right there. This can be straightened out. There we go. And then I can tie my knot. There we go. Look how perfect that is. So let me get my ribbon cutters because my scissors have glue on them. And we'll just go at an angle. There we go. Perfect. And then the last thing we will add are the glitter enamel dots. These are so nice. So we'll add our gorgeous grape ones. Um, I'm going to do them exactly how I had done it before. Let's put that one up there this time. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that 
adorable. So I have it in Bermuda Bay and gorgeous grape. It came out so stinking cute. I absolutely love it. So again, everything will be on my site at thestampinbee.com. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and reach out to me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.